often we think of the Oklahoma landscape as being flat, but actually there is some slight elevation that can play a critical role in your backyard fruit trees. Today joining us is Becky Carroll, the OSU Extension Specialist. So Becky, let's talk a little bit about these frost pockets that we can find in our landscape. Yeah, cold air is a lot like water. It's gonna flow downhill and collect. Uh -huh. So these low spots like right here, this is gonna be maybe a couple of degrees colder than even up where we were starting. And so it, it really makes a big difference on the location that you plant your trees. So why do you not want fruit trees in frost pockets? Obviously, because it can do some damage, but yeah. let's talk about the mechanics of it a little bit. So, you know, most of our fruit trees are gonna be blooming early spring. And with Oklahoma's weather, we never know when we're gonna get that last spring freeze. Mm -hmm. And so if we can keep those trees a little bit warmer, we'll have a better chance to have a fruit crop. Okay. And so even a degree or two can make the di difference between having fruit and not. And so we saw it last year, a lot of areas where those low spots, that late April freeze that we had last year, mm -hmm. those low spots had trees with no fruit in the bottom part even. And so it can make a difference just in that tree uh, space. So maybe the top part of your tree has fruit and the bottom doesn't. So it can make a big difference in just little things. So we're out here at the Cimarron Research Station and there is a bit of, a, it's flat, but there's a bit of elevation from the north side all the way down to the south with pecans behind us. Tell us a little bit about how y'all have laid out your planting to deal with that elevation. So peaches are one of the earliest blooming. So they usually bloom the middle of March. That's, you can just about put your clock on March 15th to the 20th in, in this middle part of the state. And so they're blooming before pecans and apples and pears usually. So we want them on the best location, the best site. And here on the station, that would be right up on top of this hill. And so it had the most elevation, really good soil. So when we get cold air, it settles down that hill, flows all the way down to the bottom. And last year we had some of those trees in the very bottom part of the, the pecan trees had some freeze damage and the ones up a little bit higher didn't have any problems and so it's uh, it can be a big uh, problem if you're in that one of those low areas and it doesn't have to be a big slot a slope like this it can just be a little bit of a dip in, a, in an area can cause a big uh, issue as well all right so I'm talking about elevation is there a particular side that we should be looking at too on the slope or um, you, you probably, if you have a choice, mm -hmm. an eastern facing slope is going to be better than north or south uh, just because it's going to warm up a little bit slower and it's not going to be as cold if it's on the northern slope. Uh, the south facing slope is going to get more sun, more warmth, and so those buds may push and, and come out a little bit quicker. So eastern slope, a little bit better, but I would really look at elevation first. All right, Becky, thanks again for giving us a new perspective on how to look at our landscape. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.